Hello, I am Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Welcome to the daily devotion for April 14th. Let's begin today by hearing our scripture passage that comes from Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and verses 14 through 24. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. This psalm is a traditional reading for the Easter celebration. Originally, it was a part of a worship celebration following a victory in battle. In our Christian tradition, it is a song of joy for Christ's victory over death. The psalm begins with these words. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. In this, we are reminded that God is the source of our salvation. It is God who rescues us. But the rescue of God is not indifferent. God rescues us from threats and dangers because God loves us. God's love is not every now and again. God's love is always. God's steadfast love endures forever and because God's steadfast love most perfectly revealed in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is forever we are able to rejoice rejoice that God is our strength God is our might God has become our salvation these proclamations of God's saving love are very important in this time as we are feeling weak and vulnerable. There is a battle that is being waged against disease. Our only weapon at this point is physical distancing, and even with that, there are no guarantees. With a constant weight of uncertainty and worry, it is difficult for us to rejoice and be glad with each day. The Psalms, though, do offer us an important model as to how we can sustain hope within us as the battle is still being waged. The Psalms draw upon God's past actions of faithfulness. These become reminders that what God has done in the past is a power that is still present with us today. And so they bolster hope within us as we think about what God is doing, but also about the victory that is to come. In your journal for today, I'd like to suggest that you draw a shield. And within the shield that you decorate it with symbols and words that speak to you of victory and hope. May this be a sign of our confidence in God's saving love, for indeed, God's steadfast love endures forever. <laughs> 